Hey guys, this is Super Matt, and today I'm with Beth Caudell, and she was so kind to come over here and talk with us about first time home buyers. There you go. And so this is our first time home buyer series, and uh, Beth has helped how many people you think you've ever helped in your lifetime of real estate that were first time like, home buyers? Oh gosh, probably. I mean, I would say it's a good percentage, like 20% of people. Yeah. At least, so it, if not more. Is it increasing? It, I mean, per year? we see, um, we do a lot of seminars on first time home yeah, buyers. Yeah, so that's right. We see, we see, you know, at least a dozen every year right yeah. now. Okay. If not more. All right. Um, how many of those first time home buyers are from this area? Oh, you think? They're all. They're, they're all. all from this area. Yeah, you don't yeah. get people that have moved in um, from I mean, other places and they've been renting there and they're they're uh ready to buy here you know mostly kind of thing. we see okay so if they're coming from another area yeah this would be an investment property for them because okay. they heard this dallas fort worth market is hot yep so most of the people we see are people who've been around the area been renting or leasing or whatever and just want to get into a house they can call their own now yeah so. but most of the people that are first time are usually renting mm -hmm. at the time yeah oh, and yeah. they're ready to move out yeah. So you always have to look at, okay, when is your rent up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what are you paying now? And then figuring all that other information. Make sure too. all their credit's good. That yeah. they have We're going to do all that oh, in our okay. questions. Here we go. So don't sorry. you jump Oops. ahead of me. Let me okay. do my part now. Okay. All right. You sorry, ready? Sorry. I'm ready to go. Okay. All right. So what is a typical excuse you get from the first time home buyer when it comes to buying a home? Uh, I don't have 20% to put down on a first home. <laughs> but it's not 20% down on first time home buyers though. But they think it is. They right? just don't have the information or the knowledge to, right. to get there. And they don't know, they have no, they, a lot of times they don't have a clue about what are the steps to take yeah. to get a first time home. In, okay, so let's talk about that too. All right, so uh, what are the obstacles do you run into with first time home buyers? Fear, I know, is always brought up. Like they're yeah. a, a scared of what the unknown is. Yeah. They think there's too much. They don't have enough money. What else mm -hmm. is it? Um, is my credit good enough? Okay. Um, debt, debt to income ratio? Yeah, definitely debt to income ratio. Um, and then how do I go about taking care of this house when I can't even you know, take care of my apartment or yeah. whatever that is? When you is. start talking to renters and, and y'all start discussing, you know, uh, school taxes, property taxes, and that mm -hmm. type of stuff. Does it, like, do they react like, oh, wow, that's really a lot to take hold of, oh, yeah. to be responsible for? Or do they just feel like, okay, it's just a part of the process? That I think if you explain that correctly, mm -hmm. they understand that it's part of the process. It's not something you can negotiate away. <laughs> right. Um, and, you know, certain areas have higher taxes than others. Yeah. So you definitely have to be knowledgeable about what areas have higher taxes than others. Like if you went to a master plan community, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to be a higher tax than say, you know, yeah. you know, just regular old Denton. But Denton, but being in Denton County alone is, is less taxes than a lot of other counties yeah. around us too. And the other thing that people have to understand is we don't have state tax here. Yeah. And so they collect property tax. So right. that tries to help balance that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. In your experience, what are the main things a first-time home buyer needs to prepare for? Needs to prepare for. Well, yeah. they, I mean, they definitely need a down payment. Right. So the most, that's what's taken the longest time with people. <clears throat> now, will you take out a client before they even have a pre-approval letter from a lender? No, no, no. No, you don't do and that. Explain to them. Okay, explain so to them you why. have to... Um, well, so you want your client to have money in the bank. You want them to, you know, be prepared. That you want them to have at least gone over costs with a lender. Okay. Because we don't necessarily go over costs with you right. specifically. Well, let's say I call you. I haven't done any of that yet. Yeah. And I kind of tell you, hey, I'm looking to live in this area of Denton mm -hmm. County, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then you're going to say, well, do you have a pre-approval letter? And I'm going to say, no, Beth, I don't. And, you, and then I'm going to say, I don't really know any good lenders in the local area. Do you have some a list of people that you oh, can sure. give me? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We always have lenders we can refer you to. Yep. Um, but, like, that is my, I'm, I always call this a journey. It's a path. Yes. So 
we're going to walk you down the path to get successful to get you to your end goal of having a new house so yeah. that's the first thing is we'll say um, have you talked to a lender yet because then they can you know work on that part of it mm -hmm. and have enough financing or how much it, most of the time they have no clue how much money they need um, or they think they need 20 percent. and there's so many yeah. new programs out there that they can help them with getting that money down assistance oh, yeah. right there is yeah. assistance i mean one thing that's a challenge right now is to try to find a house under two hundred thousand in this area <laughs> yeah so that is typically where i'm maybe a first time home buyer might land so that can be a little difficult. But, and you're um, not the only one bidding on that house yeah, either. Yeah. Yeah. And you better have a really strong offer and not FHA. You know. Is, really? Uh, yeah. That makes it a little harder because there's always more requirements with that. Sure. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. What are the items they need to prepare for before they seek you? So what is that list of things that they need to put together before they call Beth Caudell? Right. Well, I mean, they can call me at any time and okay. because we have a little program we go through with people. Okay. We'll put them on the right path. Awesome. So they can call me at any time. Like, I don't care if it's a year or two or five. Like, we're here to help you. Yeah. Um, so, like, we're going to make sure that you have all those things, but we will put you on a path. Yeah. Like, of, and you have to do it. Like, you have to pay your bills and you have to actually do things on time or try to raise your credit score if credit's an issue yeah or um save the money to get the down payment because we want it because this is a red hot market yeah we want to be able to jump on that as soon as they yeah. are ready and yeah. we see that right. that house. yes and be prepared yeah right because as it. soon as it it starts to go it you got to go fast. yeah you can't hesitate it's anymore it's a big old snowball right. yeah. yeah okay so Tell everybody what's the best way to contact you. How many days a week can we contact you? And what times can we contact you? Oh, wow. I wonder what people really say here. <laughs> um, just, uh, you can call me pretty much any time. Seven um, days a week? Seven days a week. Okay. Uh, and really, it's easier to text me than to call me. Okay. Uh, but my number is 214 497 Four zero two one. Okay, we'll put all that across you got there that? too. Yeah, yep. like we'll scroll put, it through or makethemoveteam.com. Okay, we have an office here in Denton. Yeah, tell everybody where your office by. is. Hey, we're on the square, in the Denton. Denton Square, so yeah. everybody can just come on by. And if you haven't visited the Denton Square in a long time or ever, it's got a lot of cool little shops, a it lot does. of great eating and drinking yeah. establishments yeah. there. A lot of walkability. Like a walk, yeah, it sure mm -hmm. is. So, yeah, people can come see us, and we have a whole team that will work for them mm -hmm. in trying to get the job done and be as helpful as possible. Yeah, you do have a good-sized team, and you have listing agents and buyer's agents mm -hmm. and transaction coordinator and all that stuff, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, we have all that. So you're good to go across yeah. the board. And then you've got contacts with other people that you can share, you know, if they need, uh, you know, referrals to people or a list of people. So I talked to... Um, somebody last night mm -hmm. and um he said do you know how many it's a vendor okay he said do you know how many uh referrals you sent me last year i said no i don't i'm sure it was a lot um he goes 68. that's awesome so i mean i try the people i work with i try to send them referrals of yeah. course that's everybody's decision who they use well i think but, in the real estate market you know we we want to know like and trust vendor relationship mm -hmm. you know friend because we build a lot of friendships out of this business too mm -hmm. because it is such a, a relationship type business buying something that is that going to be your biggest investment that you've ever had yeah. and you want everything to go you Just know right. smoothly and plus all of us that are in the real estate market who work you know as a benefit and a service to the sale of or the purchase of a home mm -hmm. is like hey, we don't want to just work with them one time and we don't want to be just somebody to work for. We want to partner with people yeah. because we want to be able to help not only you, but your friends, your family, and everybody else yeah. and show them that, hey, there is good service out there. Things can get done right the first time. That type It's a of relationship thing. business it is. And, and people do 
work with people they like, but also they know that are going to take care of their friends and yeah, family. Exactly. So that's what we want to do. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for First Time Home Buyer Series. And uh, remember, Beth uh, gave us her phone number and she said we could call or text her seven days a week. Right. Yeah, I mean, I will try to get yeah, back with but if, people. Yeah, but if we but if, if we miss like you, you're going to contact. Night, yeah, it might be we got cutoff times, yeah. right? We need our sleep. <laughs> but I do try to call. When I know I you can. do. Yeah. yeah, you do good. And and uh, and or Beth, one of your team, you'll yeah. pass that on to somebody in the team, that depending on what they need help with, too. Yeah. Right on that. Okay, yeah. so thank everybody for watching today. Bye, y'all. Check out our website.